On today's episode of What's Up With That? Social Media Edition, I'd like to take some time to introduce you to Dr. Doni Wilson. According to her website, Dr. Doni is a naturopathic doctor, certified professional midwife, and a clinical nutrition specialist. But if you click on this disclaimer way at the bottom, this is what you'll see. She says she's not a medical doctor or MD, but she is a licensed natu- naturopathic doctor in four states, and she practices as a health consultant in New York. Hmm. That's because naturopathic doctors are not able to become licensed or registered in the state of New York. Which probably explains why she has an awful lot to sell you online. Now, according to her website, Dr. Doni is a very busy person. In addition to being an innovator in the field of functional medicine and psycho, psychoneuroimmunoendocrinology, she has developed numerous protocols and published her insights on a number of things. And here's just a few. But I did a PubMed and Ovid search and couldn't find anything that's been published. Maybe you could help me out, Dr. Doni? But let's just focus on one thing, reversing cervical dysplasia and eliminating the HPV virus. Let's hear what my bestie, Dr. Fatima Daoud, has to say about this topic. It seems like she's creating her own version of reality, where well-established risk factors for HPV persistence aren't worth mentioning anywhere in her content. But also preventative measures against cervical cancer that are widely recognized as effective seemingly don't exist or are unacceptably dangerous. And maybe this bold face lie is a typo that most practitioners don't know that getting HPV to negative is possible. But it's a great way to sell your say goodbye to HPV program, which she touts as having a 90% success rate. You know what else is a 90% success rate in achieving HPV negative status besides your three to $12,000 program? Nature. 90% of HPV infections are naturally cleared from our bodies in two years for free. But to sell her stress recovery protocol, she really leans into stress as the biggest factor in HPV persistence and susceptibility. The problem is the link between stress and HPV has been studied several times, and the data is conflicting at best. Same thing with the herbs and supplements she recommends, aka sells on her website. Despite the fact that the research on these supplements have very limited human safety and or efficacy data for this condition, or it's research that took place in a petri dish or in a mouse. Some of the supplements she recommends have been studied for cervical cancer prevention and they were found to be no more effective than placebo but when she's not overhyping stress's role in hpv infection or peddling unproven supplements she also offers an hpv masterclass where apparently she gives medical advice to people who had literal hysterectomies for carcinoma in situ aka pre-invasive cervical cancer because that's ethical and appropriate so dr Doni has a lot of medical protocols to sell someone on a website that's for educational purposes only